guys, today we will present to you about electricity generation from wastewater using microbial fuel cell technology. Thank you to our lecturers, Mr. Tajo Afif bin Abdullah and Dr. Muhammad Fahmi bin Abu Bakar. Here is my team. I am Nora Mira Shafika Miti Muhammad Razi, Kironka Muhammad Ishak Mukris bin Cik Mota and Nor Zaidatul Akma bin Tisai. Now, Kang will continue our presentation. Thank you, M. Hello, I'm Kang and we are going to continue on microbiofuel cell, which is also known as MFC. MFC is actually the combination of electrolysis with microorganisms to produce electricity. Okay, first of all, is MFC equal to electrolysis? Let's view electrolysis. Electrolysis is actually converting chemical energy to electrical energy via redox reaction. Where MFC is actually conversion from electrochemical process to electrical energy. Utilizing redox reaction as well, which is a combination of oxidation and reduction at the same time. Hence, electrolysis are different from MFC. Let's go to the core of MFC, bioelectrochemical processes, which utilizing microorganism. This bacteria, first of all, will take the nutrient from wastewater and convert it to carbon dioxide as well as electrons. And what is the advantage of MFC which can contribute to us. The main of three advantage that MFC can contribute to us is it can treat wastewater, generate electricity to form a sustainable power source. After that, there are actually two main types of MFC, which one of it is single chamber MFC, which one electrode lies outside the chamber to receive oxygen. The other one is two chamber MFC, which one electron lies inside the anode, one electron lies inside the cathode, and in the anode side is filled with wastewater. At the cathode side, act as an electron acceptor. Well. Now let's go to the mechanism of MFC, which also known as microbiofuel cell. As you can see in the GIF, the electron is moving from one chamber to another chamber. So the main concept of MFC is actually go through bioelectrochemical processes, which utilizing wastewater and facilitate by microorganisms to carry out the redox reaction. As we can see here in the MFC cell, wastewater is needed to go into the anode chamber and then oxidized product is produced out from the anode chamber. From here, we can see that the bacteria is utilizing the organic material in the wastewater and convert into carbon dioxide as well as proton and electron, which then the electron will transfer from anode to cathode via the connection. And then over the cathode side, the oxygen is converted into water and as well as the separator, also known as PEM, which is proton exchange membranes. Okay, next let's go to the chemical reaction. From here we can see that it's the same process which organic material from the wastewater with the water is converted into carbon dioxide with electron and proton. After that, the oxygen at the anode side is utilizing the proton and electron to convert to water. And finally, let's go to the single chamber MFC. Single chamber MFC is more efficient in terms of electricity generation. This is due to the increasing of erection of oxygen as well as decreasing of internal resistance of electricity. Thank you. Next, I'll pass this to Mukris. Thank you, my friend. Now I'm going to explain the type of weight and its characteristic that are used in microbiofuel cell MFC. Okay, the first one is agro waste or agriculture waste. Its characteristics are high chemical oxygen demand COD and biological oxygen demand BOD. It is also high in organic content and high in total solid. The second one is hexavalent chromium waste. It exists in aqua solution, high in toxicity and tendency enhanced reactor performance. The third one is selenite waste. It is high in toxicity and its concentration. It is also water soluble waste. The fourth one is nitrate waste. It contains in animal waste, acts as an oxidant for generating electricity and can be converted into nitrate and n nitroso compound. Now let's talk about microbe use in MFC. We are going to be discussing some of the examples and its characteristics as a gram type, mobility and mechanism. MFC 
Utilize bacteria that are typically have electrochemically active without protein such as cytochrome. The example of microbe can be looked on the table aside. Most of them are gram negative due to high electrical power generation and most of them also motile and rod shaped bacteria that help to ensure the movement of electron transportation. Continue. Some of the bacteria use direct electronic transfer DET and may Mediated electronic transfer emitting mechanism. DET is a metal resolution bacteria that can directly transfer electron to the anode, while MET bacteria require redox mediator to act as a medium to facilitate electron transport. Thus, we can conclude that multiple types of microorganisms can be utilized in MFC. Thank you. Level of chemical or CO2 minus COD, biochemical or CO2 minus BOD, and total solid urine production of starting from cassava. In cassava water waste, clarinopeptide was hydrolyzed to form cassava that has high concentration when it is released in environment. Make high organic content CO2 remove using maximum power, increase the pH level of anode chamber that produce increased electricity. Second, help develop common water waste. Use as the oxidization agent in variable industry, such as pharmaceutical, wood, electrolyte, and so on. Of chromium seed from chromium in the aquatic solution is significantly due to their high toxic and tendencies to accumulate in the living organism. Can apply in chromium seed water waste treatment as can anode perform because it can identify the microorganism. Process make chromium seed reduction in minimum level because the activity can anode can utilize electron and protein generated from the oxidization in the can anode complement. Third, liquid water waste. Which is contained in animal waste can make increased thermicillin due to external using in nitrate based fertilizer. Nitrate can easily convert to nitrate because it is not toxic component in human body. Can convert into N nitrosos component that can carnodonesis in Remove of nitrate from hash type two chamber bioelectrochemical defecation system with contain bio K anode in K anode chamber by using bio anode as an electrode dominant source. The nitrate ion was used as the oxidant for generate electricity for the organic component in MFC. In conclusion, using MFC must have pros and cons. For pros, we have alternative source of fuel, eco-friendly, can be applied in aerolink K electricity, even see conversion of substrates to electricity. However, for cons, we have toxicity of material, low growth rate of microbes, low power output, and high operation and material cost. That's all from us. Thank you.